From skunks and pandas to penguins and zebras, here are 17 animals with cool black and white markings. We always like hearing that our subscribers enjoy the content, so thanks to Marceline for taking the time to comment and let us know. And be sure to tell us how you like this monochrome edition. Valet Blacknose. Unique black and white patterns exist in domestic animals as well as the wild bunch. This sheep is notable for its black ears, face, knees, and legs, contrasted with its white, fluffy coat. They originate in Valais, Switzerland, where they're raised for their meat and wool. Zebra Swallowtail. Considering how colorful most butterflies can be, it's hard to believe this creature is a member of the same class, but it's easy to see how this insect got its name. The black and white patterns on their wings and tails do resemble the stripes of a zebra. It's mostly found from the eastern US to Canada, and is also noted for its unusual pair of sword-like tails that protrude from the hindlings. Did you know that some of their larvae can have similar black and white stripings? With a touch of yellow thrown in. Magpies. Several species of these birds exhibit black and white plumage, and are referred to as holarctic, or monochrome magpies. That includes the black-billed magpie, which is found in the western regions of North America. While it is black and white, it also displays some hints of iridescent blue on black areas of the wings and tail. And the Eurasian magpie ranges from Europe into Asia and northwest Africa. While its belly and shoulder feathers are pure white, the black wings have a sheen of green or purple. Did you know the Eurasian species is considered to be one of the most intelligent among all non-human animals? California King Snake. This unusual looking reptile is found in the western US and northern Mexico. The non-venomous snakes are mostly found with black and white markings, which you have to admit look pretty unusual for a snake. Due to its distinct appearance, docile demeanor, and ease of care, these critters have become popular as pets. Tuxedo Cats. The term bicolored cat refers to animals that have white fur combined with fur of another color. There are many patterns and color combinations, but for the purposes of this list, we'll focus on the tuxedo cat. It's a feline whose fur is otherwise solid black, except for white spotting normally limited around the face, throat, chest, and paws. While the tuxedo pattern isn't limited to black, the name typically refers to black and white cats. Orcas. They might be better known as killer whales, even though they're a member of the oceanic dolphin family. Their coloration makes them instantly identifiable in waters around the world. Experts think the marine mammal's markings are an example of disruptive coloration, where animals use their contrasting patterns to better disguise their shape or outline. They can use that characteristic to hide from predators, but the killer whale uses it to stay hidden from prey before they strike. Dogs. Dalmatians are likely the first dog to come to mind when thinking of black and white markings. The spots are nearly as iconic as leopard spots. Some of those dogs do exhibit brown spots on a white background, and there are rare cases of blue spots developing on the coat. Their coats are plain white at birth, and the spots usually develop within four weeks. Other dogs that exhibit unique black and white markings include the Carolean bear dog and the stabby hounds, both of which have coats colored black and white. Razorbill. Along with having a pretty cool name, these birds have a strong resemblance to penguins, but it's a seabird that only flies to land in order to breed. Males and females have the exact same coloration and pattern, so you'd have to judge them by their size to tell them apart, with the males being the larger. The birds have white undersides with black plumage on the back, neck, and head. They get their name from their hooked upper beaks, which are sharp enough to defend themselves from predators, and are used to grab fish. Holstein Cows there are some 800 breeds of cattle recognized worldwide. But when you think of a cow, the classic image that usually comes to mind is a big beast with those familiar black and white markings. Those animals actually belong to the Holstein Frisian breed and are raised to produce milk used for dairy products. Valais Blackneck. This breed of domestic goat originates in the Valais region of Switzerland, not unlike the black-nosed sheep we saw earlier in the video. This animal has a pattern that is definitely startling. It appears like its body is evenly split in half, with a black area from the shoulders giving way to a white area that extends to the tail. Skunks. If you see one of these critters, you know to turn the other way, or hold your breath. The black fur with white striping along the side is pretty much a warning sign for predators to leave these critters alone. But not all skunks have this distinct coloration. Other species can range from brown or gray to a cream color. All the animals have stripes, although some might show up in a different pattern, depending on the species. The hooded skunk, for instance, has a white ruff of hair around its neck that inspired the nickname, and makes it look kind of like a wolverine. No matter their stripes or colors, all skunks are capable of releasing an oily spray that results in horrific stench. 
Belted Galway cattle. While Holsteins are more familiar when we talk about cows, there's another breed that deserves mention, a breed called the Beltway Galloway. This breed has an especially striking black and white pattern. It's basically a broad white band that encircles the animal's entire body. Along with their beef, these beasts are often purchased just for their unusual appearance. These beasts are often purchased just for their unusual appearance. White Tiger. Normally you think of these big cats as having orange fur. Although it seems like a separate species, white tigers are actually a mutant variant of Bengal tigers. But they lack a pigment called pheomelanin, and that's what gives the tigers their orange coloration. That results in the animal retaining the black stripes of the Bengal tiger, but carrying a coat that is near white. Experts say that white tigers tend to be larger and faster than their orange counterparts. But their stripes, like all tigers, are a skin pigmentation, and no two patterns are alike, similar to human fingerprints. While white tigers are occasionally reported in the wild, the mutation is said to occur in about one in every 10,000 births. Giant Panda One of those creatures that are known for their iconic markings, this species of bear is native to South Central China. Their distinct appearance is accented by black fur on or around their eyes, legs, shoulders, and ears. It's still not definitively established why giant pandas have their markings. Some experts speculate that it could serve as a way to avoid predators. The panda's habitat is comprised of snowy and rocky terrain, so the bold coloration might help them to better camouflage themselves. Did you know that giant pandas have a diet that is made up almost exclusively of bamboo? Sounds pretty bland. Malayan Tapir with adults weighing nearly 1,200 pounds, this is the largest of the five species of tapir, and is the only one that's native to Asia. Its pattern is especially unique because one half of its body is black and the other half is white. But not unlike a zebra, the creature is black in color with a large white patch running from the shoulder to the hindquarters. If you look closely, the very tips of its ears are also white. The blocky coloration serves as camouflage from predators, making it appear like a large rock when it sleeps. Hey, did you know that when these animals are born, they have brown hair with a series of spots and stripes? That helps the juveniles conceal themselves in the shadowy forest until they mature and develop their normal coloration. Penguins. Along with zebras, these birds are among the animals most noted for their black and white patterns. In the case of penguins, the coloration inspires comparisons to the critters wearing little tuxedos, but nearly all have the distinctive black and white plumage on their fronts and backs. Although it's the Adelie species found in Antarctica that most closely resembles the penguin's stereotyped appearance. The black and white coloration serves as countershading to camouflage them from predators. Predators looking upwards at them in the water can confuse the bird's white bellies with reflective water on the surface. The black plumage on their back serves to camouflage penguins from predators above them. Zebras for a long time, there was debate over whether this equine animal was colored white with black stripes or black with white stripes. Researchers have confirmed evidence suggesting that all three extant species of zebras are black in color, with their bellies and white stripes considered to be additions. While there's no definitive answer as to why zebras developed their iconic stripes, there are hypotheses. Some of them include the stripes being used for camouflage or motion dazzle. Zebras grouped closely together might appear like one huge mass of flickering stripes making it difficult for predators, like lions, to pinpoint a single target. Experts also think the stripes can serve as a means of identification amongst the animals. Zebra stripes are thought to be unique to the individual animal, not unlike human fingerprints, or tiger stripes for that matter. 